Alrighty, g'day guys and welcome to another video. Hello! <laughs> we have just arrived into Hobart. Visa finished her contract uh, in Launceston yesterday yeah. and we've got, uh, I think, just under a week before we head back to Adelaide. So yeah, we've just gotten to Hobart and then we're gonna head to Bruni Island tomorrow for a couple of days and then make our way back north. Market time. <laughs> What do you got there? Got a spot on a stick. <laughs> and my new book. So excited to read. <laughs> I got a full apple wrap. <sighs> Alright, well that's the markets done. Mm -hmm. And now we're off to Mount Wellington. Just a few people here. <laughs> oh, it is pretty cool up here. It's freezing. It's freezing. But the view is also really cool, mm -hmm. don't you reckon? Yeah, amazing. I think we're like 1200 meters high, so, and it does snow up here, Mount Wellington. Um, it's absolutely packed. It's started to drop off a little bit, which is good because if we wanted to get a couple of photos, and it's a bit awkward taking photos with a tripod. <laughs> but we did it. Um, yeah, so that's it for here. We're gonna head back into town, probably just, I don't know, grab some dinner, a beer, watch the footy, footy. <laughs> and then probably call it a night. So if we don't see you again today, we'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, it is a new day, it's Sunday. Um, we ended up free camping just out of town last night. And this morning we woke up and headed to the markets, which markets? Farmgate. Farmgate markets yeah. back in town. Had some brekkie there, they had some nice steamed buns. So were delicious. We ate, you ate four. I had four because it's not very often you can find vegan steamed buns. So they were good. Um, and we've just been and checked out Mona, the museum. So cool. Very cool. Didn't film anything there just because, I don't know, it was busy and we were just enjoying it. Now we've just come to the Botanical Gardens. Mm. Yep, so we're going to do a walk through the gardens, just for fun. Mm. Looks nice. Uh, and then we're going to go find somewhere for lunch before heading to, Bruni. I can't even remember the what? town where you get the ferry. Yeah, and then we're going to make our way to Bruni. So we're trying to jam in as much as we can um, in our, I don't know, 24 hours in Hobart. So. The real adventure will start when we jump on the ferry, but let's enjoy the gardens. It's not slippery. This <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have just gotten to um, the ferry terminal in Kettering. I don't know how you pronounce it, something like that. Um, yeah, just fueled up, got some supplies, uh, booked our ticket, which cost $40 return. Um, there are, I think, three different prices. There's the standard price, and then a saver price, and a super saver, depending on the time of the day. Uh, now it's five o'clock, and I think we saved six dollars or something but if you're i think after 5 30 you save a little bit more but that's cool um it's not very busy on this side apparently it's really busy on the island and there's a lot of people coming back um but yeah it's it's looking good we're about to get on the ferry and we'll uh, take you over there <laughs> we're on well that really didn't take long i'm sure it would be a different story if it was busier um, but I reckon within 30 seconds of driving onto the ferry and leaving. Moving. It. We're already moving. <laughs> but yeah, there's only three three of us on here, including ourselves, so let's go. <laughs> Alright, well. We're just about to pull up on the island and there's a hectic lineup. 
Cars. Of so cars, cars trying to get back. <laughs> wow. I'm glad we waited till the end of the day to come over because it would have been hectic this morning, I reckon. Uh, but yeah, the sun is going to set super soon. We don't really know where we're going. We don't know where we're camping. But I think we're going to head south um, and just see how we go. So we'll see. Are these guys here? Quite rude. So rude. <laughs> oh, so rude. Thank you. Thanks. Well, <laughs> at least he said something that time. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> Who's that? Some dude that follows me on Instagram. <laughs> really? pulling into camp after the sun had gone down last night so didn't film anything yeah it was dark we ended up just having a what did we have oh, a cup of broth little fire and a real early night which was good but we've just woken up um, and the campsite is right next to this beach so we've just made a coffee and we're having a little morning stroll it's quite nice don't you reckon very nice this is camp last night and this morning <laughs> um yeah we're just making brekkie what are we having oats oats <laughs> oats on the jet boil with some fresh fig from the markets in hobart so good. and banana good job doll thank you all right well we had brekkie and packed up camp and we've just headed to cape elizabeth track mm -hmm. I don't know there's a walk you can do here which takes you down to the beach and there's a I don't know iconic little arch okay. formation on the beach um, we're not really sure how long it takes because there's mixed reviews um, but what we've gathered is that the arch is only half of the walk which is <laughs> what we're hoping for so we'll see how we go but we're expecting maybe a two-hour return walk we'll see how we go Got your stick? <laughs> it's us. Here we go. I think it is currently low tide, or it was not long ago, so fingers crossed we'll be right. <laughs> Alright, we've made it to the beach. Nice. Alright, well, we found the arch. It only took us about 35 minutes to get in, which is good. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a little snack and then walk through the arch yeah. and then walk back. Pretty cruisy, definitely worth it. Uh, I think it was just under 6Ks in the end, and we did it in, I don't know, about an hour and a half, hour and 45, including maybe 15 minutes at the arch, took a few photos, had a snack, so pretty good, worth it, super easy. It's flat basically the whole way. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, well now we are off to Bruni Island 
Cheese and Beer Company. Delicious. Biz got the honey pale ale and I've got the normal pale ale. Yum. So good. What do you reckon? Delicious. Good cheese. Couldn't eat it all day. Um, yeah, care. definitely worth a little stop. Nice beers too. Let's keep moving. Oh my god. <laughs> Yum. Righto, well, it is getting towards the end of the day. Um, it's been a good day. I think we've yeah, we're trying to fit a lot into each day at the moment because we're pretty strapped for time. Um, yeah, we did the walk, we did the cheese and beer company, we went through the oyster drive through because if you haven't worked it out by now, <laughs> this is obsessed with oysters. I love them. You can I literally, doesn't. yeah, and you can drive up to the window and they give you oysters. Wow, that light's coming straight across us. Um, yeah, they give you oysters to your car window. It's crazy. Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, then we've come pretty much as far south as you can, done a bit of a loop, and we've just gotten to this campsite which is called Cloudy Bay Corner, um, and it's pretty unreal. It's amazing, we got the best spot I think. Yeah, I think we did get the best spot, but yeah, you get to, I think Cloudy Bay, and you drive down onto the beach, so you can only get here on low tide, um, and then it's a, about a 3k drive along the beach to the campsite, pretty easy drive. Uh, but yeah, check this spot mm -hmm. out. How bloody good is that? Amazing. Awesome spot. The sun's just going down behind us. The bay here is glassy. We've just cracked a cold beer. Probably going to get a fire going here and then make some dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> loving it. Alrighty, well, it's dinner time. What's on the menu tonight? Curry. Curry, we're doing, I mean, we're kind of cheating with the curry though. We're using this coconut lentil soup thing as the base, which is really good. Uh, and then we're adding in some tofu and some eggplant and snowpeas. Yes. Is that what they are? Snowpeas. Snowpeas. So, Fizz is going to get that under control and I'm going to get a fire going over there. Just about ready to go. Having a little sneaky Dino 
This is one of our favourite local ones that we've had so far. You rate it? Delicious. I reckon we've bought like... Half a dozen of them? Yeah. We probably should have just bought a box of them, but yeah. Devil's Corner Pinot Noir. Good drop. Fire's raging. Curry's raging. <laughs> We're raging. We're raging. We will be raging. Wines are ready to rock. Let's serve it up. Nothing like a hot curry on a cold night. All right, good morning, new day. We're just having some coffee and some brekkie and then we'll probably just pack up and then hit the road. Um, awesome little spot, slept real good. It wasn't too cold overnight, I think it got a bit cloudy, so that was good. But yeah, Viz is making us the, the classic Vegemite Avo toast. We'll sit down and enjoy that and then pack up and get out of here. As you can see behind me, we're all packed up, ready to roll. The sun's just come out, it's turned into a beautiful day. Um, yeah, this spot has been unreal. You could easily come here for a few days and just chill out. The beach is right there. Oh, awesome. But yeah, we're gonna hit the road and check out a couple of spots along the way. We are gonna jump on the ferry back to mainland um, this afternoon. So yeah, last few hours here on Bruni Island. We'll see what we can find um, before we make our way back. Let's go. Bye camp. <laughs> Don't really want to leave this spot, it's so nice. Probably, oh, it's definitely top three campsites in Tassie so far, I reckon. Just made it to the neck lookout. Check this out. All right, we're back on the ferry, heading back to mainland. We've spent two nights here on Bruni. It was unreal. We could definitely stay a bit longer, but two nights was enough. Um, yeah, we're just trying to fit in everything we can, so it's time to move on. Back on the road. This is taking over the wheel. <laughs> um, yeah, originally we were going to try and get to Port Arthur and surround and stay there the night, but we've decided that we don't have enough time and it's not going to be worthwhile because we still need to fit in Cradle Mountain before, before we get to the ferry on Thursday morning and it's currently Tuesday afternoon so we're just gonna start heading north firstly we're gonna try and find some hot showers somewhere because we haven't showered for a few days and be nice uh, and then yeah just start making our way north um, and just free camp somewhere and then head to Cradle Mountain tomorrow so yeah on the road somewhere between Hobart and Cradle Mountain will camp tonight, do Cradle tomorrow, and then, yeah, the ferry the next day, so let's go. We are fresh, we found some uh, free, hot, indoor showers. I mean, it's been, <laughs> hasn't been that, what, three, four days. Um, but yeah, thanks Wiki Camps, bringing the goods as always. Come on, Jimmy's on the road. Oh, hot. <laughs> ah. All right, well, we're back on the road. Um, we left camp pretty early this morning. I think it was about quarter to seven and it was friggin' freezing. <laughs> we woke up, it was just like frost. 
everywhere. Um, but yeah, on the road, I think we've got about a three and a half hour drive to go to Cradle Mountain. Um, we've already made a couple of stops, so we've just stopped for a coffee and some raspberries at Christmas Hills Raspberry <laughs> Farm Cafe. <laughs> coffee from a raspberry farm, we'll see how we go. But we also got raspberries. <laughs> there you go. Let's hit the road. We've made it. We've made it to Cradle Mountain, or well, the car park anyway. Car park. Now we're going to walk to the visitor centre and jump on the shuttle bus. It's quite cold. It's a bit overcast, very overcast. It's drizzling it's, it's a little bit, drizzling. but can't choose the weather. <laughs> We're just going to roll with it. Let's go. Alright, we're on the bus. Alright, we're off the bus. And we've come to the Dove Lake Walk. Which, how long is it? 6 k? 7 k? I think so. I think it's, yeah, 2 to 3 hour walk around the lake. So, let's go see how much we can see, considering it's quite foggy. <laughs> Basically walking in the clouds, but it'll be right. Hmm. <laughs> I'll get in. Do it. Come with me. Scary cat. It's definitely pretty nice. Don't you reckon? Beautiful. The world is actually not as cold as you think either. I think on a sunny day you'd be tempted to go in. I'm tempted to go in now to be honest. Yeah. But if we didn't have that shower last night, <laughs> I reckon we'd be in. <laughs> right. Well, we got absolutely rained out. <laughs> Not so enjoyable. But we did it. We saw it. We did the walk. Now we're back at the car having a quick wrap. And then, um, yeah, we're going to hit the road again. Head for Devonport because our ferry is first thing tomorrow morning. So we'll find somewhere to camp tonight. And that'll be it. <laughs> 